Hi guys, Shox here, and welcome back to I Saw It on the Internet, So I Had to Try It playlist. Um, today I am going to try to blow up a balloon using a water bottle, some vinegar, and some baking soda. Uh, followed a few things around the internet, so let's give it a try and see how amazing this is going to be. Awesome, here we go. Alright guys, so what we're going to need for this little experiment is a balloon, some baking soda, baking soda, um, a little funnel and a spoon because we're going to put the baking soda into the balloon and then we need some white vinegar, doo -doo -doo. a bigger funnel or a different funnel, I just my other funnel is larger, and a water bottle or a pop bottle and a one half cup measuring cup. So basically what the idea is is to put the baking soda in the balloon, put the vinegar in the bottle, flip the balloon over and science happens and it blows up the balloon for you. So I am going to do it and see how it works out. Here we go. Alright, so we've got the balloon here. I'm just going to stick the funnel into the opening and then just going to put in two teaspoons here of this baking soda. Kind of tap it around so it goes down. There we go. Get in there. Sometimes there's air so it won't go. There we go. Now that's in there. We're going to set that aside. So now we're just going to put the funnel into the water bottle and I've measured out a half cup of vinegar and we're going to set that aside. Woo. Okay, now here's the tricky part. You want to make sure the baking soda stays in the bottom of your balloon. So squeeze the air out. Okay. Now you're going to put the, the top of your balloon over the top of this and leave the balloon hanging sideways. It's kind of tricky, but spread it out in your fingers. Just over the top. See how it's hanging sideways? Okay, now that we're ready to do this, let's have a look. You're going to tip your balloon. Woo! So, <laughs> fills up the water bottle. Maybe a half a cup of vinegar was too much. Hey, that's really awesome! Pinch the balloon. Oops! Pull it down. Tie it. You've got a balloon! It feels a lot denser than uh, when you blow it up with air, but that's because of the gas that's created from the baking soda and the vinegar. Wow, was that ever cool? Okay, I've set another one up so we can look at it from a different angle. Alright, let's have a look at this another time. Oh! Very, very cool. I think this is just a one-time use type thing. And the balloons do not float, but they do fill up with gas. It's pretty cool. Are you ready? Last time. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. Fun party trick, show your friends.
Very interesting indeed. All right, guys, that was so much fun. Thank you for coming with me to check this out and, you know, see how it works. The balloons don't float. So it's not like a helium or anything. Um, and they're heavy. They turned out a lot heavier than if you were to blow them up with air. But check that out. That is so cool. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I'd love to see you around here more. And stick around. Uh, you never know what kind of crazy randomness we're going to get up to next. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. So it's been about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes since I recorded, and this thing is still full of air. So I think I'm going to hold off a little bit longer and see how this ends up. It's been about an hour and a half and this thing is finally decompressed here. Not a whole lot left going on. Give it a shake. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, about an hour and a half is how long that stayed up for out here in the sun. So I hope you give it a try. I hope you have fun. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the I Saw It on the Internet and Had to Give It a Try playlist.